So we had the SID Display Week, and the, who are you? All right, well, I'm Bill Doan, and I've been invited to uh, talk at the uh, 50th uh, anniversary celebration. And I'll be talking about uh, polymer dispersed liquid crystals and displays. And uh, I'll start it from the very beginning. They were uh, discovered by accident in the laboratory, and then uh, all the way through to their uh, final manufacturing and a variety of different display technologies, and the most popular one being the uh, uh, writing tablets, e-writers, uh, uh, under the uh, trade name Boogie Board. That's uh, been uh, so. So you worked with the, the LCD since since a long time ago. Yes, for a long, I've been working for for 35 years. On LCD. Oh yes. And uh, the, you came up with a cholesteric uh, CHLCD. Yeah. Yes. Yes. That's so right. when did that happen? Oh, that happened. Uh, the cholesteric LCD ca happened around 90, 1991, something like that. So that's uh, 37. Uh, no, so 27 years ago. That's, tw that's 27 years ago. But I uh, I started 30, 35 years ago with polymer dispersions that uh, that uh, that are used that are also important in cholesteric displays. So what are those that you said that you started 35 years ago? Those these dispersions? are, these are uh, droplets of, uh, of, uh, of liquid crystal. The, the liquid crystals are confined to droplets and uh, these uh, this is necessary for things like uh, the boogie board, the writing tablets and so on to have these polymer dispersions that, uh, that make the cholesteric work. And uh, uh, how, how does those things you were doing 35 years ago or since then, uh, where did they, else did they go in the display industry? Where else did they go in the uh, oh, LCD or...? Well, the polymer dispersion have been used in, in quite, a, quite a variety of different display technologies. There's uh, displays that are called stabilized displays, uh, a stabilized ferroelectric displays, stabilized uh, uh, STNs and so on that have been... Uh, uh, been developed by uh, various people around the world, and uh, so uh, and they've been used in a variety of different kinds of things. Flexible displays are very important in flexible displays because they uh, they prevent the flow of the liquid crystal. When liquid crystal flows, it upsets the image, and with these uh, droplets, they uh, prevent that flow. And so you can have flexible displays with these things. Flexible of all kinds of different displays, or only well, the pri primarily, CHLCD? Primarily cholesterics, primarily cholesteric displays, because when a uh, when they, the the uh, cholesteric display is bistable, and when it flows, the image doesn't come back. You know, you and so you don't want it to uh, destroy the image. What does cholesteric mean? Well, cholesteric is uh, actually derived. The name is derived from cholesterol that's in your body, actually. That it's people it, have to keep in check. Yeah, yeah, Why? That, yeah. People have to keep in check. It, it turns out that that's a that, that there's a derivative of that. That's a, that's a liquid crystal. And the first liquid crystal ever discovered in 1888 was a cholesteric liquid crystal. And uh, so, uh, but the, the but however, the compounds that are used today are not actually cholesterol. There are other kinds of things, but they have the same properties, the same liquid crystal properties as cholesterol, and so they're, they're still called cholesteric. So, uh, so the liquid crystal, there's all this liquid going around and, and people don't want it to go around? They don't want it to flow. In a particular, yeah, you don't want it to flow. Now, for example, if you push on your television screen, if you have an LCD TV screen, you put your finger and you push on it, you will see the, it will, it, it will, where you, you'll see the liquid crystal flow and destroy that, that image. But it comes right back because the liquid crystal then restores its order as soon as you, as soon as you relieve the pressure. Is it magnetic fields or something in there? Or what's going on? Uh, well, where? it's a surface. It's the, uh, it's the, the, uh, uh, the, the surface of, uh, of the, uh, of the substrates that it's in, uh, which re re returns it to its normal orientation. But, uh, can you do any displays with CHLCD? I mean, can you do like, uh, can you oh, yeah. can you choose what you show? Yeah, yeah. Uh, how do you do that? Well, well, well. A, a, a cholesteric liquid crystal is, is very amenable, actually, to to uh, uh, to displays because because of its bi-stability, uh, it uh, 
allows it uh, to uh, have a number of features that, uh, for low, particularly low cost and reflective displays, displays that are that can uh, that are very bright in the sunlight. So uh, calisterics are particularly good for reflective display technologies. The so, displays on your television set are backlit displays. So you, you founded the Ken Displays? Yes, uh, yeah, I, I founded it with an investor, William Manning, two of us, uh, because co-founded it. And when did you do that? I was founded in 1993. And uh, uh, the, so the technology by Ken Displays, is it mostly about pen input uh, on the display? Well, it, it started out as, as displays for signs. When the company first started in the early 90s, it manufactured just signs because of its, it makes a great sign because you can see it in sunlight and it, it requires very little power. Did you have many of those out? Yes, they, they were, they were uh, uh, they're still sold today actually. But, but what uh, Kent Display primarily focuses on today are the tablets, the writing technology. It's uh, very highly focused on, uh, on uh, the writing experience, making tablets and uh, blackboards, very large blackboards and so on. And those are sold in the millions, right? Oh, yes, yeah. 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 And so is it possible to have a, a product that does both, where you could pen input, but you could also have on-demand like, uh, like an e-book? Well, or like a, like a right now, right now they're primarily just in the writing mode. But, but they can save the image. You can you can write on it, and then you can get, pick up the, the image on your cell phone, for example. On on some of the tablets are sold with this capability. And that would be from a digitizer that's combined. There's a digitizer combined under, with yes, a digitizer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's more of more and more of that coming out. Yes, it, it's, the technology is it continues to grow as time goes on. All right. Yeah. All right. And uh, here at the SID Display Week, um, you, you're going to have a speech. Yes, I have a uh, I have a talk, a 20-minute talk at this uh, uh, in this symposium. Yes. And you were going to talk about everything that you just said. Yeah, I'll talk about this stuff. Yes. All right. Yeah. Cool. So in the future, there could be uh, uh, billions of uh, CH LCD devices out there. Well, right now they're sold in. There's millions of them out there. In fact. Off of this roll-to-roll -roll line, uh, this manufacturing line, there's been uh, a linear feat of, uh, of, of uh, display material that's come off of this line. Is, uh, there's been six million, six million feet of that, which, which translates into a thousand linear miles, thousand miles of, uh, of display materials. So it's a, it, it, But it's not all under the Boogie Board brand, right? Is, are you uh, selling the displays there, there, to, there's to other companies? The black, there's, another, there's another brand that comes out called the Blackboard brand that, uh, that, uh, that, used for, uh, that has a lot of other kinds of features associated with it and also large, scaled up to large sizes. So, but uh, it is, is there a chance or there's no chance that we might see CHLCD like kind of like a competitor to e-ink? In terms of uh, uh, e-readers, well, and at the same time have the pen input. Well, the uh, at, at this particular time, the company is not focused on that particular on that particular thing. Uh, it could uh, uh, sometime, hopefully, sometime it, it could do that. The the, technolo the, it, the technology is there for doing that, making very actually really quite beautiful and bright. This uh, full-color displays that can be uh, quite visible in the sunlight and it's very low power. It's, the, the technology is there, but it's it's uh, but to get it into the marketplace is gonna is it's another uh, step. It's another, another challenge. Another challenge. Yeah. And how about the most of the boogie boards that I've seen? And I think they're awesome. They're often uh, they're always black. And when you write, it's kind of like green. Is it possible to make it oh, white? They, oh, they make them but in colors now. Oh, yeah, they, you can get them in colors. But can you make it white, and when you write, it's black? You can, you, you can make it. Yes, you can. You can. You can change it uh, so that you're writing. You can make. You can make a, a very a lot of different co colors, and you can any make color combination. What, well, what is the limitation? It's, it's possible to do that. Right now, the ones that are in the market, no. The ones that are in the market are limited to. They are colors on on black or black on colors. So, but but black and white is different. The technology for white usually is white. The technology for white is there. It's just not in the marketplace yet. All right. 
So we're going to see much more, much more SCHLs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As time goes on, the, the technology grows. All right.